Welcome to Pop Cult HQ. We've all seen the Temu app. There's advertisements for it everywhere. I thought I would give it a shot, so I ordered 17 items from Temu, most of which I thought would be somewhat useful to me. As you can tell, the package was not handled the best. It was definitely beaten up. There's tape holding it closed. So at this point, I'm not even certain I have all 17 items. I'm going to give it a shot, open it up, and we will see what all we've got and check out their quality. Hopefully it's all something good. Item number one is a silicone baking mat. Pretty normal, pretty much what I expected. Item two, they call it a magic cloth. I'm a little disappointed actually. It is the same size as what they said, but all it is is a piece of felt. I thought it would be microfiber. Item three is what they call a dredge tool for your sink. Actually does a pretty good job of cleaning out my drains. I have already used it and I like it. Item number four is this little garlic press. It's a cute little gizmo. It actually works pretty well and it comes with a second screen on the bottom that I did not expect. Item five is a dumpling or mold maker. This is plastic and it looks pretty much like I ordered. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. This is item six. It's a stainless steel version of the dumpling maker. I figured I'd get both. I do tend to do a lot of baking. I'm not sure how well they work because I haven't had a chance to use either of them yet. Item seven is another silicone pastry mat for baking and rolling items out. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Item eight is a digital meat thermometer. Looks exactly like what it was supposed to and does what it's supposed to. Item nine is just a small little handy manual beater. You push down on it and it whips things up. Works great for drinks, especially bar drinks. Okay, item number 10 is this growing light. It is pretty small. It's got a USB on the end, so you have to buy yourself a USB compatible th stick for it. But it is extremely bright. I'm not even sure if it will work with the plants. It's so bright, I haven't tried it yet. This is exactly what it says it is. It's just a cap for a five gallon water jug. Uh, it's very useful though when we bring our water jugs for refills over at the grocery store. Put it in the top and the jugs do not splash. It works quite well. Item 12, stainless steel sink strainers. It's a pack of two. They sit in your sink drain and keep the garbage from going down it. Item 13, these are magic flying butterflies. Basically, you wind them up, put them in a card. When somebody opens the card or the box, they come flying out. I had been hoping to get these before Mother's Day. Unfortunately, they arrived afterwards, so I didn't get a chance to use them. This is item 14, disposable baking pans. This is actually the one item I was a little disappointed in, but in truth, it's my fault. I saw a baking pan with lid and looking closely at the order, it looks like I chose the option to order 50 without lids instead of 20 with lids. Okay, item 15, this is a potato bag. The photos are a little deceptive. It shows a ton of potatoes in there. If you actually had that many potatoes, you wouldn't have had any dirt for your plant to grow. Um, they're fairly small, so basically you can only plant one potato per bag. I only bought one. I just wanted to give it a shot because I haven't had luck growing potatoes in the ground. Okay, item 16. We're approaching the end of the list here. This is supposedly a migraine relief. I guess it works off of acupressure. When I have a migraine, I'm willing to try almost anything. I picked this up. You're supposed to put it on your hand and it's supposed to apply pressure points to relieve your migraine. I tried it when I had one. I didn't have any luck with that. I just felt pain in my hand. Maybe it works for some people, not for me. Item 17, small earth magnets. Smaller than expected, but 
What do you expect for the price? And we've approached the end of our Tamu list. 17 items purchased, 17 items reviewed, pretty much matches our expectations. Thank you for watching Pop Cult HQ.